Welcome back guys, we're continuing this Grand Tactician Civil War campaign and the last episode was a right bloodbath. So we've got an army retreating here. So we'll have to keep an eye out on where he's going to retreat to. Really, we want him near this depot if we can. So on the western side we're moving into a position to take this fort. We can't actually see the fort, but I know it's there. And we'll be taking this depot, and they've conveniently built a hospital for us. That was nice of them. But the army that was here seems to have vanished. So we can still see the other three. But I don't know where this one that was here went to. Can't see him anywhere. Yeah, it wasn't him. Well, we got attacked by two armies here, so there's a possibility that the one that was here took the railroad up to us, up here. So what's happening on the eastern front? We're basically just chilling. Not really much to speak of over here. So what I could do is retreat this army all the way to here. Alexandria. And then use the eastern army in the centre. definitely an option I think we might do that actually got all these mills here that would be nice to steal Right then, um, what's going on on here? We haven't quite got enough for a trade deal. We know any of the training manuals. We can build a foundry though, and a mill as well. So. We don't actually need a foundry. We need... We need a mill. So, auto placement's off. So, let's see if we can find somewhere decent to put a mill. So, we haven't got many workers available there. Don't really know what difference the workers available makes, but it obviously makes some difference, otherwise they wouldn't tell us. Goods are expensive here. That's not too bad. 95, 80, and 90. Let's go there. And then, what are we going to build? We've got an ironworks coming up soon. Lumber mill. We haven't actually got a lumber mill, or at least we haven't built a lumber, no, a lumber mill, so let's build one, put the auto placement on to see where it places it for us. That's fine. Okay. wonder how the fleet 
building is getting on. We definitely can't. No, we can't. I think while they are building ships for you, you can't order any more. I've never been able to anyway in the past, so I assume that's the case. So let's have a look. 68, 99, 99, 16, 888. So we've almost got these two, which is nice. Or them two, sorry. But the others are going to take a while. Right then. Let's see if we can get some battles with the Eastern and Western armies. Let's see where this guy retreats to. Okay, so we've used all of our policies now, so we want free trade, we want Hulk cotton trade, and that's about it really. So let's get this Hulk cotton trade. Well, he didn't retreat very far, did he? Well, considering I did 21,000 kills, they've got a lot of men still. 34, so they've got 59 still. So, this Eastern Army's definitely not going to have an easy time. He's only got 36,000 to 59. So it's going to be another bloodbath. Let's make sure he's got some half-decent guns. So he's got the best cannons and he's got the best rifles so he hasn't quite got the best rifles on this one but all the others have. Okay. Is he retreating any further or is he just staying there? Let's wait until he's finished moving on the train tracks and then I'll retreat him a bit further. Right. Oh, he is still there. So we are going to get a battle on this side. Right, zero hours, so he'll be starting on the map immediately, pretty much. So we've got an advantage in guns, 188 to 62. But we're 22,000 less on the um, total soldiers. So we could preferably do with just sitting there and shelling them for a while. But <laughs> that didn't work on the last attempt. Let's see what happens. Why is he starting with low morale again? He hasn't fought a battle forever. He's got 100% supplies. He's got maximum ammunition, provisions, and forage. Why is it saying he's got low ammunition? He hasn't got low ammunition. Oh, bloody hell, he has. Why has he got low ammunition? He hasn't fought a battle in forever. Ah, 
dear, I don't get that. Okay, fair enough. Whatever. That might be the reason that they've got low morale, because they've got low ammunition. But 15 brigades with low morale. That is not ideal. <laughs> I feel like deja vu here. Right, we need to attack them. So that's... I mean, sometimes when you have to attack, the enemy just sit there and let you shell them. So that might not be a bad thing. It all depends where their reinforcements are coming from. Probably here. Maybe here. So there's a chance they might come up this road to here. Or just this road. So we could do with coming across this direction. Setting up around this area. I'm not going to be able to get into this tree line, I don't think. So realistically, or idealistically, <laughs> I'd want to set up along this tree line. But until I know where their reinforcements are coming from, I think that might be a bit too risky. I mean, I could come across here, set up along here, and flank the reinforcements, and then push up into this tree line. So there are the two options, come across the top and come down, or come across the bottom. Hmm... I might go this direction, you know, seeing as this is the final place that I want to end up. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So... Where is this? It's a tiny little trail and going to nowhere. So if we start off around about here, that's going to be the shortest route to this path here. Right then. Uh, really, I should send a couple of cavalry units first, just to make sure the way is safe. Okay, let's come down here. In fact, let's go into the trees.
Well, so far so good. Let's check this tree area out. What time is it? 11 o'clock. What's this saying? McClellan arrives. Right, let's see if he arrives here or over here. I suppose we could start moving everyone across. I think we're safe. Right, that opened up. That wasn't blue before. So it looks like he's come from that area. I didn't realise they could come from white areas. I thought it was only the the areas that they had blue. Right, well, this is the area that I want to come across, so let's bring him up to here. Let's see what we see. Right, we're running into danger. Let's tell everybody to stop. We might be able to get some cannon fire into these here from this open area.
taking a long time for the halt order to come in. At least it's letting me retreat with them though. Okay, they've halted. So they've set up in the exact position that I wanted to set up in, which is not ideal. It's going to take us a very long time to manoeuvre around the back of them. Because if they are here, we would want to be across here. That'll take a long time. But if we can get some shelling off, which we are doing. Might just stay where we are. These don't seem to be firing. <laughs> well, they've done 15 casualties. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, these trees here are obscuring the view from this side, unfortunately.
Yeah, the day's almost over. Okay. Well, there's no point in staying in this area. So let's see if we can flank them. Got to be careful that they don't redeploy right on top of us though. Let's see if we can see anybody up here. It doesn't look like they have got anybody up here. Right. That's where the rest of them are. Interesting. That's actually letting us shoot through trees. <laughs> that is interesting. I don't think that they're going to flank me across here, but there's no harm in putting these here, I don't think. Okay, so they've redeployed over there. That's not so bad.
Right, it looks like they are coming towards me. Yeah, they're coming down here where my cannons are moving to. That's not ideal. So we've got some skirmishers shooting us in the side, but I think I'm just going to ignore them. I'm surprised that they've done that many casualties. Yeah, they're, they're doing a lot of casualties. What on earth is this guy doing? <laughs> oh dear, well, too late now. Dear me. Well, that was not ideal. I can't even get him facing the right bloody way. And he's broken. That was marvellous.
idea. I've got units abandoning the guns. Must be counter battery fire. Idea. We've got another one broken. Well, I think we're getting close to getting into position anyway. So, we've suffered a, a few losses getting to this stage, but I think things are going to get better from here on out. Right, what are we looking at? So, we've got five divisions here. This is definitely not the entire army. Looks like we're in rifle range here, unfortunately. It's not ideal. This is the problem with cavalry. We've got short range weapons, so forced to go on the attack. Jesus, what cannons are they using? They've wiped out two of my cannon divisions and done 22 casualties on another one of them. 16 on another. Jesus Christ, 17 on another. What on earth are they using?
Right, here comes the cavalry. I think we need to press the attack with the cavalry on this side before they get their reinforcements. I think that's the only real play that we've got here. Yeah, this is not looking good. Casualties are not looking too great. It's only evens at the moment, but that's not really what I want.
getting units broken. Now we're going to have to deal with reinforcements. Having a line battle with infantry is not ideal. Not the ideal scenario for a cavalry division. Massive flank as well. That's even worse.
need to try and roll them up on this side. Yeah, they've got so many units coming in.
that's not ideal. I was relying on him. running out of ammo, we're practically out of morale. This is uh, a bit of a disaster. I was hoping to get the cannons in on the action first, but unfortunately they pounced on me. They didn't give me my opportunity to let the cannons do the work. I've still done more kills than I've taken, so it's not the end of the world.
Well, I suppose I could try and do a little bit of damage with the cannons, but without their cavalry screen, they're going to be very vulnerable. Oh well, we did more kills than we took, so... At least I think it finished that way. Yeah, so 9,000 to 12,000, so... I suppose you could still say it was a a semi victory. Pretty brutal though. Right, what, what are we looking at? 450 captured. Oh, that's the enemy. Hundred, oh, 1,700 captured. Ouch. Okay, that was quite painful. Right then, <clears throat> well, that didn't go well, that did not go well, 26,000, so they've still got 50,000, Between the two fights, I did 33,000 casualties, and they started off with 76, I think, so they should have 43. They've got 50, so yeah, I suppose some might have healed up between the two battles. How are we looking? 27,000, 25,000, so we could do with fighting both of ours against both of theirs, or just one of theirs against one of ours, but hmm, maybe I should just sit them next to each other. I need to get back to this depot, though. Or there's this depot here. I don't know how much 181 pieces is. That's got 831 pieces, so yeah, this depot is definitely the best one to regroup at. So let's come back down here. How are we doing in terms of projects? It's going to be a while for that. We can do a trade deal. It's going to be a while for the training.
the banks are halfway there, or the credit rating I should say. Okay, so let's get this unit or army retreated and then I'll call it an end to this episode. Let's check what's going on here. Won't be long until they get into a battle. Yeah, it definitely didn't help that we arrived at both of them battles with low morale on everybody. And I'm not 100% sure why every time I move, I suddenly get low ammo. Because I'm at full ammo now, or at least I think so. Oh no, it's only 36 and 37. So maybe I've got an ammo problem. Let's have a look at the Western Army. They've got 89 and 90, so why... Why did my Eastern Army, who hasn't fought a battle in forever, start the battle off with only 20% ammo? Maybe they just weren't getting supplied. Interesting. Don't know. Anyway, let's uh, fast forward a little bit, see if they carry on getting more ammo. 45, 37. It's not going up at the moment. No, it's not going up. Artillery ammo, small arms ammo, there's nothing in this depot. Let's have a look at this depot. Small arms ammo, nothing. So I've obviously got an ammo problem and I don't really know how to fix that. Let's have a look. Factories. That's not an ammo. Foundries. That doesn't seem like ammo in the ironworks. So it's ironworks that I need for ammo. Okay. So that's what we're going to focus on. That seems to be our biggest issue right now. <coughs> but... I think we should call it a day for this episode. And then on the next one, I think we might just have to sit back for a, a short while while we resupply on the ammo. No point in turning up to battles if we've got low ammunition and low morale. So yeah, let's call it a, a day for this one. Or should we just fast forward and see what happens here? We can actually attack do a, an assault here. What have they got? 30,000. That's us. They've got 20,000. So, yeah, I'll do an assault here, but I'll save it for the next episode. So, yeah, didn't go very well, <laughs> but it wasn't a complete disaster. So, uh, anyway, cheers for watching, take care, and I shall see you in the next one.